John Deere fans rejoice, the Gator 6x4 is out now. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 30 mods for you. For all platforms, we have 6 new and 16 updates. At PC and Mac, we got 4 new and 4 updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. Let's start with the John Deere Gator 6x4 by Black Sheep Modding. You guys have been waiting on this and we are here. So what do we have at least to start with? 23 horsepower, 42 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour. Pretty basic stuff. There's no back on it. We'll explain that. Got some modules. Oh yeah. Rim color, you got yellow and you've got black on there. Main color, you got green, you got yellow and you have a forestry green as well. Design color. We'll show you what that is. That's going to be seats. Let's leave those as yellow. Configuration, we have standard. We have 600 kilogram front weight, 900, 1200. Why would you need front weights? Well, you got a lot of stuff for the back. You also have protection grid one on there. You also have protection two, protection three, or back to standard. Design configurations, we have model one, model two, which adds a windshield, model three, which adds the roll cage, four, which puts the top on it, five, which has the roll cage with a windshield, a bigger windshield, top with a smaller windshield, and a larger windshield. So you've got all kinds of options through here. All the options. Beacons, no nope, or yes. We'll set up standard, wide tires, and even communal. So you got Nokian tires on there as well. I prefer the standards. We'll leave that. And additional lights, no nope, or yes. So you can add additional lights to the front. Now, if you deck it out all the way, it's going to be around sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000. But we have modules. We have, I believe, four different modules to choose from here. So we have the skip in the back, which will hold 800 liters of bulk container material. Uh, you've got all your primary colors. And then you have the option for forestry, yes or no. So that's going to add forestry sides onto the back. It does have straps. Next up, we have the bell container. Of course, this has straps as well. Strap down anything. It's nice, flat, makes it nice and easy for you. Then we have the three point. Yes, you've got the three point in all the primary colors. So you can use this however you want. You got for the Asaria Scout that just came out with precision farming or anything that you want to put on the back. And finally, we have the sprayer module. This will do uh, fertilizer and herbicide, 400 liters of it, five meters spread at seven miles per hour. And your main color, of course, is going to be all of that. What do you guys think about this? It's an absolute awesome machine. Let's jump in just kind of the standard one. Let's take a look around, see if there's anything on here that's a little bit different. Well, doesn't seem like there's too much going on. Let's go and turn on a little bit of audio for you as well. Uh, let's see, we can open and close the back. We can put some straps down. If we go into here and we add, we've got now 800 liters of wheat. What about? That's about it <laughs> at the end of the day. That is all you get. We can unload here. So this is going to be just like a tipper or anything like that. Good to go, man. Good to go. You could even do some, uh, you could even do some carting with this. That's insane. I love it. It does come with a trailer hitch on there. So we do have that. Um, it goes, of course, 15 miles per hour. If you guys are using mile per hour, kilometers per hour, I'm sure you'd be able to figure it out from there. Otherwise, it's a great piece of machine. It is very very nice. Black Sheep Body did a great job with this. It is out now for all platforms. Next up, we have the John Deere RTK Stations Pack. This RTAK Station and Pack improves the efficiency of the AI helpers in connection with the precision farming. As you can see, we've got two different versions. We have a much smaller version and then more of a medium-sized solar panel version as well. These are all going to work just fine for you. Love this. I love the fact that that we get things like this now. That's cool. This will work in place of the buildings packs that we got with Precision Farming. So you can use this instead of those. Next new mod for all platforms today is the Horse UW160. This is going to be a new auger wagon. Does all your standard auger wagon crops, 20,000 liters of them to be exact. This is an older horse model. We had something similar to this in FS17. So it's really nice to see this coming back. What do we get? Well, rim color, you can do whatever you want, technically, which is very, very nice. So, but I would say just leave it as a normal horse and you'll be good with it. Then we have some multiple different designs on here. Question would be, what are these designs? Is it the top? Yeah, it's the top. So you've got a couple different things through there. And then wheel brand, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Lizard, and back to Trelleborg again. Next up, we have the Placeable Factories Pellet Pack by Vanquish VSR Modding Sir. 
One thing to keep in mind with this, it only works on specific maps and it is part of the animal system as well. So do keep all of that in mind. So let's take a look. First off, what is this? Well, we get two factories with this. We get one for molasses and one for hay pellets. You will need the molasses with the hay pellets. DJ, that sounds like straw harvest add-on. It does sound like straw harvest add-on. However, it is not. Very important, this mod does not work correctly with the add-on straw harvest. So this is for you guys that don't want to use that, but still want to be able to do factories and things like that. So what you do for molasses, you supply sugarcane, and then you get molasses. Pretty easy, pretty simple. For hay pellets, what you need to do is put in hay, grass, or chaff, and you also need to give it water and molasses, and then inside you will get hay pellets in return. Those can be sold for a profit. This mod is only con or works in conjunction with Westbridge Hills, Hogginstead, the Old Farm Country Set, La Cornella, and La Cornella 2.0. So do keep that in mind. It will not work with seasons as well. So it just is what it is. But if you prefer to be playing without seasons, well, you are good to go. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Machine Shed by Cat Modding. This is going to be a shed for all sorts of eagles. Ideal size, not too big, not too small. 16 by 13 meters, price is 9,500 bucks, upkeep $10 per day, and it is seasons ready. And lastly, we got the Red Brick Garage. This is going to be a Red Brick Garage, placeable, renewable Red Brick Garage. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many times can I say Red Brick Garage? This is Seasons Ready. It's going to cost you $30,000. It costs you 100 bucks per day. A little bit pricey. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. we got a bunch of them. Let's start with La Coronella. Yes, this is going to be version 1.1. The map has been adjusted for the Precision Farming DLC using its own terrain. The extra crops of the map Millet and Sorghum are now compatible with this and the sale price of cotton was increased. Next up, we have Switchback Canyon. This is by Ada Modding and NLA Gaming. This is going to be version 1.2. Updated mod description, improved performance, optimized the file size more, and added precision farming capability. Next up, we have the old Productions Pack. This is by Farmer Manu. Big shout out to Farmer Manu. Good friend of the channel. Has been for a long time. Been here since the beginning. This is going to be version 1.001. Fixed an issue with the pig food and silage productions UI showing how hay only, fix the fill types for pig food and silage productions, and adjusted pig food values in the info file. This works only on no man's land, at least right now. I believe it also works on wither farms, if I'm not mistaken. So that is pretty cool. But unfortunately, you're going to need those maps to be able to use this mod. Next up, we have the TF-140 PB95. This is going to be version 1.5 already. New normal map, new specular map, new livestock configuration, AO, and it is the console release as well. So if you guys are on console, you got a new bell trailer and a new animal trailer as well. Main colors, rim colors, design colors, it's all good. Next up, we have an update to the Star Hercules 10,000. This is going to be version 1.1, capacity extension. You've also got animation of the oil cooler, working lights, and updated mod description to 53. Now, I will say this, capacity extension, I do not see a capacity extension anywhere for this mod, unfortunately. Maybe it was increased to the 10,000? Could be. Next, from Slusha's modding, we have the Lizard Tank 40 update, version 1.1. One new wheel option, new colors have been added. Option of the colors on the tank, plate selection, and readjustment in the value itself. So main colors, of course, we have all of the main colors. I like to do a cloth, so let's do a cloth. Let's set this up. Boom, 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 boom. And then design color, I'm assuming that's the tank. Oh, that is definitely the tank. There you go. Hey, that looks good. Uh, decals, got a couple different ones on there for you. Wheel setup, standard wheels. Ooh, I like those wheels. Those look pretty good. Don't forget, this actually comes in a set of dolly pack. So not only do you have a 40,000 liter front, you do 40,000 in the back as well. And you can hook multiple of these up. You can do a massive, massive road train with these. Next up, we have an update to the Lizard APL. It's going to be version 1.1. New colors have been added, selection of colors on the tank, and adjusted the equipment price. This is by the same modder, so if it looks similar, well, that is why. Main colors, of course, we have all of those colors that you had beforehand. Rim color, same thing through here. And then design color, exactly the same thing that you used to see in there. Wheel brands, of course, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, back and forth between those, and multiple different options between the two. We got a cool one for you right here, the Lizard T Ilm series. I love this tractor, by the way, and it is version 1.2. Oh, added another tire option. What do we get there? Well, we got Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas tires, 
Lizard tires. Oh, yeah, we got quite a few things through there. Uh, you've also adjusted the price, and a version without the cab has been added. It is not a customization option. It is a new model altogether. We got an update to the random dumper. This is going to be version 1.0.2. They've got a folded canvas, new wheels, and fix the discharge effect as well. So let's take a look, attachers. Well, no, yes, we got all that. Short, long, all good to go. And even some new wheels on there. Man, those things look good. In addition, from the same honor, we have an update to the Randon Vandalia dumper. Probably messed it up. I'm so sorry. Version 1.001 covers been added and fixed the discharge effect. Next up is an update to the KFMR Krugway Glad 8040 ALU. So glad I don't have to say this in Farm Some News anymore. Version 1.002 fixed the PTO, fixed the LED lighting. Spray tanks have been added for PC and Mac. Added console versions without manure system support as well. We've also got an update to the John Deere 6X20 series. This is going to be version 1.2. Added a front window and top window to open. 6520 and 6820 have been added. Added new textures for lettering. Power has been changed. Michelin multi-bib has been added. Front link replaced by Diggin' Heart. And small twin wheels have been added as well. That seems like a lot, so I feel like we should take a look at this. Let's see. Configurations. We have standard 420, 620, 820, 1020, another 1020, 1270 front. We also have the front hydraulic right there as well from Degenhart. I actually prefer these, believe it or not. Will Brands, Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin, Nokian, a Trelleborg with standard rear twins, twins all the way around, uh, rear twin narrow option ish, twin wheels all the way around. Uh, okay, so we got all kinds of stuff a little through there. Plus, we got that. Midas tires, all kinds of cool stuff through there. Michelin tires, similar story through here. And then nothing for Nokia. Anything else? Let's see. Engine 6520 with 127 horsepower. We have the 66, 138. We have the 68 with 147. 69 with 162. And 169 S with 169, 6520 chip tuning with 180 horsepower, 66 chip tuning with 109. It, it, it goes up 200 horsepower, 210, 220, all the way back down to 127. So big, big range for horsepower on this thing. Ayo. Next, we have updates to both the New Holland CR580 and the TX590. Both of these can be found beside each other. The changelog is going to be version 2, added option with canvas and supports for the bulk carrier, added transport wheels, added new harvesting for the New Holland 590 right here. Power or price is 21,200. It is also going to have 272 horsepower, capacity 7,500 or 7,750 liters. <laughs> a whole lot of numbers. 460 liters of fuel, dual singles transport options with and without wheels, animations of the door stairs, and bolt carrier cover with the mouse. So we have clear, we have uh, dark windows as well. Tatchers, we have the rigid cutter, flexible cutter, always go with flexible, makes things easier. And then standard wheel weights, transport, transports with weights, twins. Twins with weights and back to standard. We also have an update to the Lizard D838, D848 version. This is going to be version 1.1, added a two axle version. An update to the Metal Fag Z560. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Fix the tires and stickers have been corrected. And finally, your last mod update for all platforms is the Zater Crystal 8011, 8045, 8145, 1045 pack. Goodness gracious, too much there. We've got an update number two minor fixes and improvements and added the 40. 145 and 1045 options. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have the Mezzo Meta Q60 Silage Trailers by Oscar, Pixel Farm, and CG Johannan. This is an awesome trailer. I want to thank Pixel Farm for sending over images of this to show in Farm Sim News over the past few weeks. Been super gracious and super kind to be able to do that, and I really appreciate it. At the end of the day, we have a very, very nice, well put together silage trailer. Uh, wheels, we have Reitstein. We also have BKT. For those, we have the 693s. We also have the FLs and 630s as well, which is very nice to have those different options. In down here, you can do a factory new or secondhand if you want. That is a separate mod, but you can see what you'll be getting off there. And the LGF, no or yes. So you've got that on the back, but it keeps going. Side markers, no, yes. Top position light, no, yes. Aha, uh -huh. little itty bitty lights around the top. Middle position light, no and yes. Of course you want to go with yes at the bottom. Of course you want to go yes. Work lights, absolutely. You want to stick those work lights on there. You got to. And then, 
Yes. Put that attacher on the back. That way you can pull multiples of these together. This will hold 41,500 liters of your chaff products. So as you can see across the bottom, we do have Maze Plus installed right now. And this will hold basically... Yes. <laughs> it won't hold normal crops like wheat, barley, oats, stuff like that. However, it'll hold like all of the Maze Plus stuff, which is incredible. Speaking of Maze Plus, welcome to Dahlberg Pro Version. This is basically Dahlberg, but Farming Agency Edition. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Everything you would expect from Dahlberg itself, but in a much more Maze Plus friendly version. This is exactly like the other one. So however you've been playing, if you've been playing on Dahlberg, whether you're on console or PC, you are familiar with this map. General, it is exactly the same. You've got all your general stuff through here, all of the goodies, and you're good to go. I love this map. I think it's such a cool map. There's tons of forestry, places you can do normal crops. It's incredible. I love, love, love this map. But one of the great things about this, it's basically Dahlberg version 2.0. Seasons ready, straw harvest ready, manure system ready, new fruit destruction, multi-fruit silo, multi-fruit for rye, triticale, spelt clover, alfalfa, filled grass, horse grass, pasture grass, carrot, onion, miscanthus, and hops. You also have clover, alfalfa, grass, uh, or alfalfa, grass, horse grass, with four different drying stages on all of those, six different types of silage, a completely new feeding system, and they want to say thank you to the Alien Paul and Farming Agency for permission to use the horse extension and all modders whose objects they are allowed to use. Whole credits in the mod description. How's about that? What do you guys think about this? That is pretty sweet. Your next to last new mod for PC and Mac players today is Medvedin. This is going to be a brand new map by Metis MGS. This is for PC and Mac only. Welcome to the Medvedin map. Map is based only in my imagination and is purely fictional. Their imagination, not mine. Uh, it has three empty areas for building instruction, 43 fields, including nine meadows, eight cell points, sawmill, four forest, land purchasable, one village, seasons ready, and the farms on the map are empty. You have to add buildings yourself. Very, very cool. So let's go in here and let's take a look and see what we get on the main area. So we've got some area. We've got an area up in here, and then we've got another area down in here, which we own. Looks like uh, a mouse, <laughs> mouse and everything's off. So we've got all this area right here. And also, if you have your precision farming, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on with these as well these do own together so you'd be doing that some fields could be purchased individually some fields are purchased in conjunction with each other just kind of depends on what is up also uh this bad boy right here also <laughs> runs with this so you have to buy that and you get that interesting what about this hey so that farm comes with all this area neat i kind of like the way that does that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool what about our main farm i don't actually see any vehicles what do we get well we do get some and they're hiding but they're there we have the stara the st max 105 and the 180 we get the raw smash you get a tipper header plow cultivator cedar sprayer spreader and that's it that's everything that you get let's bump over let's see if we can find ourselves some goodies so if we come all the way down boop, to the main floor we're at the store we start over here at the store and that store is going to be down here by the shop and you have to take everything over to your farm looks like that's going to be right in that area so how's about this let's jump here let's turn on some help windows here so we can kind of see what's going on and let's make our way over to what should be our main farm and it is legit empty <laughs> so that whole area is your farm you've got kind of a, a driveway entrance in but past that, you have to make your own farm. I kind of dig that. I think that's pretty cool. I, I, I like that. It's a neat, neat way to change things up and add things. Very cool. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Waits Lenormand. We've got a couple different versions here. 1600, 2000, and 2400 kilogram weights here. Basically, it looks like a steel area that has been filled in with concrete at the end of the day this does hook up via three point has some great stuff on there also has a trail hitch so whether you're running this on the front or the back you'll still be able to pull your trailer around if you need to price is pretty cheap as well 1600 kilogram weight 1500 bucks 
2,000 for 19 and 2,400 for 2,300. Nice. Let's move into mod updates for PC and Mac players. First, we have the MMZ 771B. This is going to be version 1.003. Added a new color and minor fixes and improvements. We've got an update to the MMZ 768B version 1.003. Added a new color and minor fixes and improvements. Next to last mod update is the buy used equipment mod. We can't change the color on this one, so it's going to be version 1.1.2. Equipment with the bundled items could not be bought before, but now that has been fixed. So some low loaders, uh, where's the straw blower, etc. And lastly, the Lizard Diesel Tank 2000. This is going to be version 1.1. Rusted version has been added. Now, this is a mod that is available on console. However, I did not get this update on PlayStation or Xbox. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's mod video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.